All right, hello everyone, and welcome into the 2015 Moto Option Supercross Series presented by Fly Racing, live from Round Four in Oakland. And uh, my name is Kellen Brower here on Start Your Systems Television, welcoming you guys into tonight's live stream. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys tonight's coverage of the race as we will have a 450 heat race action coming up in just a moment as soon as the man on your screen here, Michael Wheeler, uh, gets some things sorted and gets the scripts ran so that we can get going off the line. And um, so yeah, let me know in chat if everything is all good and and uh, if you guys can see everything on the screen, then that's great. And uh, we'll be get going here in just a second. All right, looks like people are saying that we are good. So we are, again, still waiting for wheels here to get things figured out. Not sure what exactly is going on, but I can give you an idea of who is in 450 Heat 1, as you can see them on your screen. Well, they're probably down here again. And there we go. And we got a restart. All right, so looks like McLeod and Byron Downen, at least, a so the names that I saw in this heat. But we will be able to see just exactly who is in this heat race as soon as we get things lined up here in just a moment as the server is now restarting. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight and joining us. Uh, reminder that if we have any problems during the stream where there's some uh, lag issues and whatnot, uh, you can always catch the um, replays of the stream of tonight's stream on our YouTube channel. Start your, start your systems on YouTube. Be sure to check that out and subscribe if you haven't already seen that channel already. And uh, we will have all of tonight's action up on that channel within a few hours of tonight's racing. So you can catch all of that um, if you're missing anything. But yeah, all right. So I'm taking a nice couple years to load into the server, which always seems to happen to me when it comes to... Uh, Heat racing. Oh, it looks like somebody else has taken a long time as well. Or did I just happen to completely lag out at this point? I think I'm lagged out. All right, let's just do this real fast. Apologies, folks. All right, looks like I joined back in time. And we are going to take a look at who exactly is in this first 450 heat. This heat will go uh, six laps, top four transfer directly to the main, and we have no idea who's in this heat except Leclerc and Downen and all the others that we see over here. Let's see if I... Uh, all right, well, that's not what I wanted. Let's take a look at Ben McLeod. Fastest qualifier out of this heat on the inside here as we are set to go racing in Oakland. Gate is down for the heat. And surprise, surprise, number seven, Alexis Leclerc, looks like he is going to get a good start and the whole shot. Finally have these guys' uh, skins this week. Leclerc running that number seven that looks like kind of like a one, but I'm told he does that kind of on purpose. Jeremy Hinners, my uh cohort here at start your systems running an early second in the 450 class always nice to see hinners up front obviously you see us work together on our youtube channel during the week and you may hear him broadcast later tonight he's got jonathan olsen right behind him in third and andrew wood of the tagger designs team in fourth so that's top four transfer spots early on in this race as simos jack roberts going down he was in six now shimin is going to take over the uh, sixth place position with Fred Heather, Jeremy Shipley, and Craig Richards all right there. Linus Manson as Jack Roberts goes down again. So Richards looking to get up there. Of course, Richards right now is sixth in points, looking to keep his uh, good season going as Andrew Wood now coming under attack from Eduardo Simos for that final transfer spot already early on. Simos of the Atlas Technologies team. I'm not sure why I do not have their skins. Again, if you have not posted your team skins in the SYS Info uh, forum post, 
I will not have your skins on this live stream. I don't go searching for skins. It's not really my thing to do. I've got a lot of other things to worry about, so I will not have your skins unless you've posted it there. Oh, battle for second between Olsen and Hinners. Looks like Olsen is going to get the line. No, Hinners jumps around the outside and hangs on for now. That's a very interesting little corner of those those two riders going side by side into the corner. I thought Olsen would have had it, but he kind of backed off and let Hinners have it. Now they're going to be side by side again going across the start straight into this tricky sand section, which inside or outside could present a passing opportunity coming into that next corner. It's a very tricky part of the track. I'm sure it will be... Uh, a good spot to watch for passing tonight as the action continues to go on. Claire kind of checking out a little bit in this heat race up front as we were still watching this battle for second. Now Olsen makes a mistake and Hinners gets away a little bit. But Leclerc is still running smooth sailing up front on his IZI racing machine on lap three of six here in 450 heat number one. Of course, Hinners still second, Olsen third. Wood still holding down the final transfer spot. He's had Eduardo Simos all over him for the past few laps, but Simos not able to make anything happen just yet. Oh, and then Olsen goes down, so now Simos is going to pick up the final transfer spot. As Olsen here at the base of your screen just getting going, he's going to stay in fifth as Richards, and it looks like maybe that Shipley it is, come railing around behind him. So now Olsen's going to have to regroup and try to work his way back up inside of the top four to get his way into tonight's main event. Richards and Shipley behind him eagerly waiting to make a opportune pass to get themselves into fifth place and make themselves the next possible rider to make it into the main if a rider in front of them crashes. Of course, unlike real life sim, it's a little bit more common to see fall off crashes and people get up. Um, you do not actually get injured in this game in any way, so if you fall off the bike, it's about a 10-second crash. Whereas some of these guys, if they slide out, they'll lose a couple seconds and get going again. But that's about the most dramatic of crashing you'll see. Maybe someone flips a few times and you have like a 12-second fall-off crash, but never anything like go laps down because you crash. So these guys definitely push that envelope just a little bit more, knowing that they can without having to worry too much about losing a lot of time. As Leclerc gets into a lapper that looks like perhaps the 258 of Andrew O'Hagan, who is down, and the 86 machine, not sure who that is, gets by him. 86 of Reed Young and Andrew O'Hagan on that 258 machine as Leclerc running smooth, smooth laps up at the front, looking to repeat from his victory last week at Anaheim 2. Still kind of a shock to me that that was his first career Supercross victory. But uh, definitely backing up that he is in this championship for the long haul as he comes through and wins the first 450 heat. Or maybe not. Guess that was the white flag this time by. My apologies. Hinners is second. Oh, Simo's got put off the track by Andrew Wood. I could have sworn I saw the white flag. So again, my apologies, but I don't think it's going to stop Leclerc from winning this heat as Hinner still goes around in second, Wood in third, and now Olsen has Simos breathing down his neck. Will the crafty Brazilian find a way around Swedish rider Jonathan Olsen? Through the whoops they go. Olsen's still looking pretty comfortable. So they go through this rhythm section. Triple, triple, quad, single to the inside is usually the preferred line. Now Simo's really pushing the envelope. We got some riders down in the corner up here. Do these guys know that? Hinners looks to have gotten through clean. Wood sneaks around the outside. Now Olsen versus Simo's. Who's going to get it to the line? Olsen almost comes up short. Simo's to the inside. Oh, Olsen hangs on for the final transfer spot. Simo's just misses out as Leclerc takes the victory looks like that was Richards going over the line and the rest of the runners is old man with the stylish beard waves the checkered flag over here in his overalls so an eventful heat race these Leclerc, Hinners, Wood and Olsen headed directly to the main event 
Pope's, like Simo Shipley, Richards, Brandon Berg, Jack Roberts, Jeremy Schiabro. All these guys are headed to either the first or second semi. Blake Shimon, Tyler Morin, Kyle Robb, Fred Heather, Reed Young, Devin Davis, Andrew O'Hagan, Linus Manson, and Jacob LaRoche. The last of the runners coming through. And now cuts are in. Doesn't look like anything is affected in the top four, and it is not. So uh, it's like things are all good to go. So we take a look around this track over here, side of the Oakland Coliseum. Again, want to give a shout out to uh, Dominic Tiberino, who made the uh, cameras. Uh, for me this week as automatic checks into the chat saying he made the main Andrew Wood again decides he wants to chat me super loudly which again I deeply deeply don't appreciate but congrats Jeremy Hinners making the main my uh, co-worker on Starry Systems on YouTube he is on to the main it's the second time in the two tries that Hinners has actually tried to make the main event in the 450 class this year, that he's finished second in the heat race. All right, as the list comes up here on my screen, give you guys a rundown of who will be in this 450 heat number two. We've got uh, Gunnar Fugler, Jeremy Smith, Race Carlin, Nick Usick, Peter Like, Logan McSweeney, Ryan Mahan, Josh Betts, Br uh, Brian Berg, Brandon Berg, Tony Spinelli, Jesse Mullins, uh, Brady Stanley, Carson Tickle, Evan Delez Dernier, Scott Simmons, as we load back up into the game and see all these riders going into the first corner, and there's absolutely utter chaos. As you can see them sorting their way out, we've got a, a parade lap going here as Tony Spinelli is going backwards on the track. Not sure where he's running off to. And he just ate dirt on that triple going backwards off of it. Anyway, we will take a look at these guys again. Finish off the list of uh, runners. Stephen Barrington, Joseph Nazarak, Tyler Crane, and Tyson Fresquez uh, are in this heat. We have yet to see whether or not Hunter Root will be granted an exception into the last chance qualifier, as he is not ever going to be here until the last possible second um, for these races. But he is your current 450 points leader. It would be a disaster not to see him on the line in the main event. But we're about set to go for 450 heat race number two from Oakland. We're off and running. Looks like a good start maybe from Tyler Crane as some riders going down. And it is Tyler Crane with the whole shot. Looks like he's got Mayhan right there with him in second. And Tony Spinelli sits third on that number 17 LSD racing machine. Is that Josh Betts? It is in fourth. Barry Fly racing rider. Barrington had a good start. He goes down in the whoops. And look at all these guys going through. Brady Stanley missed the main twice in the... Uh, past two weeks after finishing fourth at Anaheim 1. He is definitely looking to rebound this week and get himself into the main as he works his way around the inside of Tony Spinelli. And these guys duly over the triple and take Jesse Mullins to the ground. And then Spinelli takes Stanley out in the corner. Spinelli obviously not liking the move that Brady had where it looked like Brady may have gone through the bales and then really whipped it in his face. And then Spinelli showed him what he felt about it. All right, Carson Tickle of the Adept team. This is the first time I've seen Tickle all year. So he is trying to get around Josh Betts, and Betts goes down. So that's going to give somebody else a transfer spot, as now Ryan Mahan takes over the lead from Tyler Crane. Oh my gosh, it scares me these guys going all the way across the track. Mahan does the quad single in that corner. Didn't look too much faster than Crane. Some of these guys this week were getting real crazy and going over all five of those jumps into that corner. We'll see if anybody busts that out later on today. But Mahan over Crane, Carson Tickle, and now Tony Spinelli is in that last transfer spot with Steven Barrington, the number 65 machine here, and Brady Stanley 
right behind him. So we've got a case of two real life looking graphics <laughs> running next to each other here in fifth and sixth. Barrington has got that Geico Hon delivery on with Brady Stanley, who actually uh, is on 2 2 Motorsports in the, in the game. I think he kind of actually made that since he picked number 22 as his career number last year. Oh, and then they get into each other. Stanley goes down. Barrington continues on. Now Race Carlin is going to get through on Stanley, who just... Oh, my goodness. That's a lag spike if I've ever seen it right there. Brady Stanley, of course, who's Australian. Aussies always tend to have some pretty rough lag, and that really just killed Race Carlin as they went into that corner. I could tell Brady was trying to give him room, but it just didn't matter. They still hit pretty hard. Now we see the number 21 of Tyson Fresquez coming through. He is in the seventh position, I believe. Yes, seventh place for Tyson. So now Stanley goes back after Barrington. These guys still not in transfer spot. Oh, Stanley looking on the inside of Barrington. Doesn't get, get it done just yet. As now Barrington jumps off the track, almost goes down, and Stanley ends up going down. So now Fresquez is going to get the move and go into fifth place just like that. Fresquez, two-time champion, trying to find his way up to get Tony Spinelli for the final transfer spot, as it looked like that was Joseph Nazarak, who is now a lap down on the Moto X Addicts team, getting passed by Spinelli. Still Carson Tickle in transfer spot, Tyler Crane, and Ryan Mahan, who's starting to check out a little bit here with the race lead. As 157 of Uzik lets Ryan Mahan get by. Crane comes through. Tickle working his way through as well. And Spinelli still holds down the final transfer, but he just came up short as can be on that Supercross triple. Now Nazarak, being a courteous lapper, gets out of his way, lets him go through. It looks like Tickle was just down right in front of the triple. He cases the double, and then, oh my gosh, how he didn't get landed on by Tony Spinelli. I will never know. But Spinelli now goes to third with Tickle fourth, and Tyson Fresquez is trying to rip up to these guys and get himself into the main event with Barrington also not too far behind Fresquez. And I also saw Race Carlin right there in the mix. So now Spinelli and Carson Tickle kind of going at it for third place. They don't want to get too feisty with each other. They are in transfer spots. Don't want to ruin it. Oh, Nick Uzik is all over the place in the background right there. So he somehow saves that Tagger Designs machine from going flying off the track as Fresquez now gets by him. Tickle's still pressuring. Spinelli now cuts the track. That's going to pay dividends for Fresquez if he can get close to Tickle because cuts could be a factor as we are now on the white flag. Mayhan just checked in over the flag. Mahan actually has the fastest lap of the race right now, 57 flat that he ran on lap three. Now Tickle is about to have a lot of pressure from Tyson Fresquez for this final transfer spot. So we go up and look at Mahan still leading this thing over Crane on the white flag lap, but we want to see who's going to get into this main event. It is still Spinelli and Tickle, but Fresquez is right there. Barrington has slipped a little bit back now as Race Carlin is working his way forward trying to get around Barrington. And he slides underneath and makes a pass. Oh, Tickle out of shape in the whoops. Fresquez really putting the pressure on now. Let's see what happens here. So they go through the long rhythm. Tickle still looking pretty smooth. Does the quad single to the inside. Remember, cuts could be a factor with Tickle cutting that corner earlier in the race. As Spinelli's still right in front of him. Mahan takes the win. Oh, and Fresquez going for it, goes down. Now cuts probably won't matter as Tickle slides his way through that corner and picks up the final transfer spot. Spinelli, Crane, Mayhan going to the main with them. And Carlin got by Fresquez as they go over the line at 5th and 6th. Stephen Barrington, Brady Stanley, Jeremy Smith. So Smith, second in points. He's headed to that semi Scott Simmons, he is 10th uh, in point. No, 8th uh, in points, excuse me. He's going to the semi, as is 3rd in points, Jesse Mullen. So tons and tons of heavy hitters on their way to uh, the semi. As uh, we are now just waiting for the 250 
action to go underway. Looks like cuts didn't factor in anywhere. Tickle had 2.09 uh, seconds of cuts, but uh, that does not matter. It looks like we're already loading in for 250 heat two, which means I need to pull somebody who I told I would let him stream with me into the chat if I can figure out where he is. Somewhere, somehow, maybe. All right. User was moved to your channel. Pulled Tyler Morin into the channel. Let's see if he is here. If he unmutes his mic here in just a few moments and is going to help me stream the 250 heat races. We just saw Morin take a... I don't know what. Something in that last heat. Let's see if Morin's here. If he unmutes his mic any second. Still waiting to load in over here. Again, want to thank everybody for tuning in and joining me tonight here on Start Your Systems TV for the live stream of the 2015 Oakland Supercross in MX Simulator. Get this out of my way. All right, so we are about to get a restart here for 250 Heat number one. Uh, the format for this is a little bit different than the 450 class. 450 class, we saw nine laps, top four go to the main, but in this one, oh, I apologize. I need to let him have talk power, so maybe he'll start talking. All right, here we go. 250 heat number one. Hello, everybody. So, and uh, now we have, we have a problem here. Tyler Morin is in. I don't know what the problem is. My computer's about to crash. All right, Morin's computer's about to crash as the 250 heat race is underway. So, Morin, when your computer crashes, just go ahead and jump back in chat, and I will grab you. But we yeah, are my watching. graphics card is blowing up, so I'll be right back. All right. 250 heat number one underway with Hachi leading Fjellberg, Tyler Schmidt, Jonathan Hughes, Brock Pappy, Clay Alfrey, uh, Jack Zars, Jeremy Cohenauer, Ryan Burke, Connor Peavy, Maxime Tassone, and there's your points leader, Dade Honeywell, trying to work his way through all this mess. We got riders down everywhere. I think that was Fjellberg actually down on the triple. So again, as I was saying, 250 heat race format, a little bit different than the 450 heats. We still are going six laps, but instead of top four of the main, it is top nine to the main. 250 class does not have semi races. Um, they will only have one shot after the, missing out in this one to make it. It uh, looks like Clay Alfrey was down. Honeywell goes around him. Still uh, Tyler Schmidt up front now, actually. So Schmidt, that motorsport.com ride, takes the lead. Morin having all kinds of problems. All right, we are good. All My right. Card. Don't know what happened. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. So Tyler Morin joining me here in the chat for uh, the uh, first and second heat races. Is Oh, Brock Pappy makes a bid for the race lead on Tyler Schmidt. Schmidt holds on for now. So Morin just got a taste of the track in that 450 heat race. How was uh, the track for racing tonight, Morin? Well, <laughs> the track is good. I like it. Uh, I was having some uh, difficulties in the whoops in the first couple laps. Um, I just had a bunch of problems that race. wasn't really feeling it, so hopefully in the semi I can come back and get it. For sure. Uh, people in chat, if you could let me know if Morin is too quiet or too loud. I assume he's probably too quiet as that was an issue I had last week. I'll try to fix that if I can. Tyler Schmidt down! Yeah, as you're saying. goes down, and that allows Dade Honeywell in the second place, right on the, uh, right behind Brock Pappy. Yeah, so Honeywell didn't have the best of starts, but he has oh. made it work. Ooh. Honeywell made a mistake going into that section, had the double double triple. Trying to go after Pappy for the lead. Bielberg making the move into third. And it gets around Jack Zars with Tyler Schmidt, Connor Holiak, and Jason Pama together. So Pama and Holiak on the same team trying to get around Schmidt. Ooh. Schmidt going. Ooh. 
That triple looks like a doozy on these 250Fs, man. They come out of that corner and they're just trying everything they can to get over oh, it. Holyak down after the finish line. Oh, no. Bummer for Holyak. He's going to lose tons and tons of spots. This looks like Cameron Hill is the last of the runners. To, or, excuse me, Connor Peavy. Same team, different number. Hughes, LSU Alfrey. Rocking that 2012 floor gear. I oh! Know the budget cuts or what. <laughs> Pama just tossed Tyler Schmidt into the Davalos bales. Now Schmidt's going to have to try to go around the berm. Oh, yeah, trying to make a move past PV with Hughes right in front of them, making a mistake. PV shutting off that door, but here comes Holyak to the inside. Oh, man, they go side by side around Jonathan Hughes. And Holyak makes a move on the inside. It looks like Pama doubling the triple. Jack Sars has a freight train behind him. Holyak. Jack closing off that door. Smart idea. Man, look at this train of riders going over the triple here. Holyak going to the inside. Fifth back to ninth. As Hughes Holyak makes a move on Pama. So, as you said, Holyak gets around Jack Zars, who's now got PV Pama. Pama Hughes right behind him. All these guys in transfer spots just going at it. Schmidt is trying to is slowly closing that gap, lurking in the background. Honeywell now out to a 7.8 second lead over Brock Pappy. Then we've got Fjellberg closing in with Alfrey. And Holiak, the Zars, PV, Hughes, and Pama in this battle of riders that we saw coming through. Oh my gosh. How did Pama not hit Jonathan Hughes right there? Unbelievable. Oh, Schmidt's down in 10th. Oh, boy. So we have now just got onto the white flag lap here. Holyak was down, so that's going to allow that huge train of riders again to get back by him. They had fourth gear in the whoops. All right, so people are saying, turn you up. So I will turn. Oh, my goodness. I'll turn Morin up getting together with Kohenauer. on the break. Oh, yeah. Fjellberg and Kohenauer down. Oh, my oh. gosh. Pappy jumps onto Fjellberg. I don't know how Dennis didn't go down. Alfred was able to slip through in a second. As here comes Honeywell to the line. Final corner, and Honeywell, after his win last week, picks up with a win here in 250 Heat 1. He's headed to the main. Clay Alfred in second place, putting on a solid ad. Oh. Putting on a solid crash. <laughs> That's going to allow Pama to maybe get around him. Oh, man, there's chaos everywhere. See if Clay goes for a last corner move. No, he does not. Hangs on. Well, Put maybe. Oh, Pama oh, down. So Holia gets fourth. Now Pama is in that fifth. Hour. Hughes. And then Pappy. And now. Pama gets up in eighth Schmidt after Jack Zars goes by. Man, look at all these riders piled up here. Who got the final spot? It is Robert Nash getting the final spot. Where did he come from? Getting a Nash. <laughs> getting a Nash. <laughs> Hachi with PV and Rollins and Schmidt, Finn Collins, Ryan Burke, Maxime Tasson. What a heat race and a half that was. I'm going to try to turn Tyler Morin up here just a little bit. So we'll go up. So Tyler Schmidt blowing for it in that last corner. Everyone's saying that PV deserved that spot. And as I watched that happen, Schmidt, I have no idea if he actually jumped bales, but he landed right in the front end of uh, PV, taking both of them down. Yeah, I just missed it on the stream. I was paying attention where Pama finished, but I saw Schmidt go kind of in there for the kill. Just trying to find a good view of that corner. So run down a top 10, you got Honeywell, oh, never mind, I lied. Yeah, top 9 of the main was Honeywell, Fjellberg, Alfrey, Holiak, Hughes, Pappy, Zars, Pama, and Nash in the top 9, PV just missing out. He's headed to the last chance qualifier with Hachi, Rollins, Schmidt, Collins, Burke, Tassone, Bachelet, Silic, Kohenauer, and Chris Schmeider. So we are getting ready to go for 250 heat number 2. You all jazzed up for your semi, Morin? 
Oh yeah, I'm pumped. My <laughs> hands are actually ice cold. I'm I'm about to go full try hard mode and put my brand new 100%, I mean not 100%, I'm sorry, one industry gloves on that I got today if I can find them. <laughs> Giving a shout out to One Industries, longtime sponsor of Race Factory Gaming. I also have a set of their 2015 gear sitting right next to me. Got to go, might as well go all out. Might as well. All right. Let's give you guys a rundown of who exactly is in this heat as they show up on my screen. We've got Zach Larma, Cody Penwell, Dominic Tiberino, Jeremy Atkinson, Andrew Jennings, Justin Petznik, uh, Gustavo Deniz, Frank Castermans, Matt Cromey, Thomas Wilcox, Ryan Kessler, Cameron Hill, Austin Anderson, Daniel Mills, Jerry Robin, Brandon Cummings, Craig Leak, Matt Burkeen, Luke Heberlein, and Fernando Andrade making up the riders in this heat. Who are your picks for uh, top three in this heat? Top three in this heat. I think uh, I think we're going to see Burkeen win this heat with uh, Chromie and Wilcox in second and third. What are huh, yours? Have, uh, I'm going to go Wilcox definitely making the top three. Then I am going to go Ryan Kessler because he has been looking strong at this track and putting in a good qualifying time. So if he can stay up and not get punted, he uh, will definitely be making the top three. And my last pick, I'll have to put Karomi. All right, so those are the picks that we have for this uh, second 250 heat race, which is set to go here in Oakland. Gate is down. Drops. Looks like Wilk. Oh, Ooh. Casterman. Yeah, Casterman's not running his usual F-Crew stuff. Gets the whole shot. Privateer, I guess. And then there's yeah. utter chaos behind him. With, like, everybody Red going Hello. down. Jerry Robin into second. Heberlein in the third. Chromey fourth. Kessler in fifth. E Mills is right behind them. And Burkeen coming through. Brandon Cummings. Fernando Andrade. Andrew Jennings. Gustavo Deniz. Wilcox. Wilcox. Penwell. Tiberino. And oh, Petsnick. Oh, more riders down, yeah. It's Andrew Jennings together with Deniz in that corner. Going back up front a little bit here. Casterman's still leading. Oh, Jerry Robin just cased the crap out of the triple in second. Didn't go down, though. And the runner's coming yeah, through here. battle for <clears throat> seventh, Kessler. Kessler and Cummings. With Wilcox, Andrade, Penwell, Tiberino all right in this mix. Oh, Kessler trying to sneak around the outside. Oh, Wilcox. what a pass. He can make it stick here. He does. Wilcox also going to follow him around. Looks like Cummings had a mistake in that sand section. What a pass by Kessler, though, around the outside in that one corner before the sand. As you're right, Wilcox got through. Oh, and then Cummings comes up short on the uh, on-off section. Off. Yeah. Those Davos barriers not doing their job. <laughs> oh, Wilcox is off the track, stuck in the bales over here on the side. He just got going. That's going to put him down to 12th. Oh, but coming together with Craig Leak. Uh-oh. That's got Gustavo Deniz coming through. We have a good battle, three-way battle for the lead. We have Chromey. Oh, well, it was a three-way battle. Frank Casterman's not having a fall off, just slipping over in the corner. So that's going to put Jerry Robin in the lead with Chromie one second behind. Yeah, how about Jerry Robin leading this thing? He's really come on strong this year. Definitely surprised me. Figuring things out. Watched him ride an EMF earlier today, and he looked really smooth. That puts Burkeen up in the third place. Everline in fifth. Battle between uh, Ryan Kessler and Daniel Mills for sixth. Kessler just coming short on that triple triple section. Gets himself going again as Mills is now around him and going away. Tiberino, a little mistake in the rhythm section as well. Uh, Wilcox Keen. comes through. Trying to uh, drop seconds on Chromie. Looks like there's a lapped rider between Chromie and Robin, but he moves out of the way. Yeah, Good we're about to have a battle for the lead here. Chromie reeling in J-Rob real quick. 
Through the whoops, Robin a little out of shape. Closing off that outside. Oh, Robin! Oh, he's, he's up. Down. Oh, Burkeen moves past him. Here comes Burkeen for the lead if he can catch him. Yeah. Burkeen is just broing for it right now. Robin throwing it sideways. And just like that, Burkeen is all over Chromie. With yeah. One second behind separating these two. It's kind of strange. Uh, if you had asked me at the beginning of the year that Burkeen would be catching Chromie, I would be telling you you're lying because Chromie is a pretty fast rider, but uh, I think it's kind of safe to say that Burkeen has actually reeled him in. Chromie trying to get away, though. He's like Burkeen's strongest point was the uh, rhythm section after the whoop, so let's see if he can catch him there. Yeah. Of course. We have a lap rider coming up soon. I wonder if that's going to be a factor in the race. Of course, Chromie, you're a runner-up in the 250 West Championship oh, we last year. Down. Oh, we Burkeen coming up a little short. Craig Didn't Leak know. was one of the riders down. Oh, and oh. then oh. Cummings. That almost took Chromie out. Yeah. Right. Oh, rider down Burkeen inside. Burkeen's go. gonna get the triple. Oh. And Chromie loses that front end, so that's gonna allow Robbins to jump right on the back of him almost. Oh man, there's just riders yeah, it looks everywhere. Like Zach Lerma not moving. Yeah. Lerma should be a lot smarter than this. Of JCR, right? Yep. Oh, oh Jerry Robin! Tried to go to the inside. Now Heberline finds himself in the second place position. We are on the white flag. Remember, top nine transfer Burkeen well on his way to a victory now as Heberline goes down. Now Chromie's going to get back by Casterman's Heberline. Casterman's moving his way up in the fourth. He's going to get in a third. Oh, and then Robin's going to go to fourth. And now Heberline gets going in fifth. Look at, there is lap traffic everywhere right now. Oh, and Heberline gets into the back of, I think, Lerma as yeah. Tiberino is sixth, Kessler seventh, Wilcox eighth, Penwell has ninth, but Andrade right behind him. All right, Burkeen takes the moto win. Wow, Fernando Andre just cut the track to get around Penwell, although Penwell, to be fair, was brake checking him. Let's see what happens here as Burkeen takes the win over Chromie. We've also got Daniel Mills right behind these guys. Matt Cromie has some words for Zach Lerma in the chat. <laughs> Rightfully so. Lerma, as you said, was not moving out of the way very well. Trying to watch this battle for the final transfer oh. spot coming to the line. Oh! Looks like Frederick Noren decided to say hi. <laughs> Fernando Andrade comes up short on that triple. Is Daniel Mills all over the back of Penwell. Penwell trying to hang on. Mills going to cut inside. Final corner, Mills. Oh, Penwell gets him by .078. Unbelievable action. Wow. So Penwell gets the spot, but we'll see if it holds up when it comes down to cuts. And it does. Mills had more cuts. So Penwell, Wilcox, Kessler, Tiberino, Heberline, Jerry Robin, Castermans. Chromie and Burkeen headed to the main. I'm going to throw you guys to a commercial break. Thank you, uh, Tyler Morin, for joining me for uh, the stream here in the 250 Heat Race action. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, guys, we'll see you on the other side of this break.